Hello and welcome to the latest installment of Notice to Mariners. Today we're aboard the Tug Pegasus in New York Harbor. We're here to report about an exciting new development, the proposed affiliation of Local 333 with Masters, Mates and Pilots. This is win-win for both unions. Local 333, like Masters, Mates and Pilots, is an affiliate of the ILA and the AFL-CIO. In common with many of our members, Local 333's 1,300 members work on tugs, ferries, and operate vessels engaged in the tourist trade. Masters, mates, and pilots started here in New York Harbor in the 1880s. Adding hundreds of new members largely employed in this harbor will strengthen our union and boost our membership. Our goal is not just to combine the two groups. Our goal is to build a bigger, better, stronger union for all. I look forward to it. I want to thank you also, Don, and uh, the rest of the officials of Master Mates and Pilots, where I think we could have a very productive and uh, a bright future together, with us all together, getting on the same page for the, the betterment of our members. You will be hearing more about this proposed affiliation in the coming weeks. It will only happen after a vote by the membership of both groups. From New York, let's head south to Charleston, South Carolina. Recently, MMP, with our partners Patriot Contract Services, gained the right to operate eight Watson-class LMSRs. We sent our cameras to Charleston to provide you with a quick tour of these impressive vessels. These large, medium-speed, roll-on, roll-off vessels each employ five licensed deck officers. They are fully operational and are pre-positioned overseas. We're excited to be operating these vessels for the Military Sealift Command. This is a tremendous show of commitment from our country. When you see the, the, the vehicles down here, the equipment that we carry, and, and, and then the country putting forth the commitment to send this overseas, it's just, it's huge. Uh, these are the greatest guys, the Master Mason pilots. They come from the industry. Uh, so these guys are gonna put in 110%. I know you guys are gonna give it your all. Master Mason pilots is very uh, excited about this contract, and we know you guys are gonna give it what it needs to have here. Looked at the ship, very impressive. The Army has contracted this ship to carry a bunch of equipment for, uh, they call them pre-positioned vessels. So we'll be joining a Navy squadron that's uh, pre-deployed, carrying Army uh, half a brigade of support equipment. So mainly the guys who carry the beans and the bullets for the Army on the shore, we have their tanker trucks and various uh, trucks and vehicles for, for doing that mission. From Charleston, Let's now take you to Maryland to my tags. In recent months, our ship simulator, union officials, and course instructors have been the focus for networks like CNN and ABC, along with foreign broadcasters. Networks have learned that a way to better understand the recent Korean ferry disaster or the search for the missing Malaysian airliner is to use our simulator and to interview our union's experts. This video is from a Korean television network. Recently, National Public Radio's Weekend Edition, which is heard on 800 radio stations, ended a segment with these words. The captains who train here are the men and women you'd want on your bridge if something goes wrong. Thank you for your attention to this video. We are making every effort to move our union forward. Please provide us with your feedback and stay tuned.